Hi there, this is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Uh, welcome to today's video from King's Cross Station in London, the home of Harry Potter and his Hogwarts Express, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, today's video, I just want to talk about whether alcohol really makes people more confident, whether it really makes people brave. Uh, of course, you, you already know that the answer is going to be no, but let me explain why. Alcohol doesn't make you brave or confident, it makes you stupid. And, but it is a common misconception. In fact, it's so common a misconception that we have common parlance to describe it. We have a phrase to describe it. We call it Dutch courage. You might take a shot of du Dutch courage before you go in for a job interview, a shot of Dutch courage before you talk to a hot girl that you're attracted to. But where does that come from? Well, there are two theories about where that phrase comes from. The first one is a little bit xenophobic. And it goes back to, well, it goes back hundreds of years to the assumption and arrogance by English soldiers that they were tougher and stronger than foreign soldiers. So they would propagate the rumor that for Johnny Foreigner to have the same amount of bravery and courage as an English soldier, he would need a shot of alcohol or Dutch courage um, because the rumor originated when we were fighting against the Dutch, which was unusual because normally they were our friends. Uh, the second theory is that Dutch courage refers specifically to gin and that before soldiers would go into battle, the generals would liberally hand out uh, rations of gin to supposedly give the soldiers more courage and bravery. Now, we can smell this bullshit a mile off. You know, these frontline soldiers back in, you know, in the Middle Ages were essentially just cannon fodder. They were the poor sods who were going to go into battle and reach the first line of gruesome death. You know, the spikes in the ground, the hot oil and all that sort of stuff. So actually, to encourage people to run into their certain death in the most horrific and painful of way, what you don't need is bravery or courage. Actually, what you really need is for them to be a little bit stupid. And you know what? Alcohol does a perfect job here. So the generals would say to their soldiers, you know, drink some courage. And what they were really saying was, make yourselves a little bit stupid because this is going to fucking hurt. And that's where it comes from. So d does alcohol give co uh, confidence and bravery? No, it gives stupidity. And so if you think about it, in virtually every situation where you might use alcohol to give you supposed confidence, it actually, progressively making yourself more stupid in these situations is probably the worst thing you can do. So, you know, if you're going into a job interview or you're going to approach someone you're attracted to and you decide that you need some Dutch courage before you do so, what you're actually doing is making everything a little bit harder because you're just making yourself more stupid when you need, actually, more intellectual capacity. Think about it. No beautiful woman has ever had a drunk guy slobbering over her, trying to pick her up, and she's thought, wow, he's so brave. Wow, he's so confident. She's thought, get this idiot away from me. Maybe. But certainly not, wow, this guy's brave. This is part of the twisted thinking of alcohol, that we spread a rumor, and then everyone agrees to agree with the rumor because we don't want to accept the truth. We don't want to accept that we deliberately drink something that makes us less intelligent than we really are. Because that's insane. And we don't want to admit the insanity of alcohol because, God forbid, then we might have to stop using it. So, does alcohol give confidence? No, it gives stupidity. Just another reason to dump this attractively packaged poison out of your life for good. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm going to go and see if uh, Ron Weasley is available. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or you can email me directly from the website, www.stopdrinkingexpert.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.